Empower Ono was the is the first adjuvant trial with an immune checkpoint inhibitor in non-small cell lung cancer to have disease-free survival results. And the study uh, uh, enrolled patients who had early stage non-small cell lung cancer who had undergone surgical resection. All patients who enrolled received chemotherapy with cisplatin-based regimen, and those who still wanted to proceed with uh, treatment after going through chemotherapy were randomized. And this was 1,005 patients randomized to either receive um, atezolizumab every three weeks for up to a year or to be followed with best supportive care. The study was stratified uh, looking at pdl one expression um, as well as standard prognostic factors. And it was also designed to look at uh, populations in series. So the first group were patients who had pd one expression on their tumors and had stage 2 to 3A non-small cell lung cancer. Um, I'll point out that the study, uh, when we looked at the total enrollment of the randomized patients, the 1,005, 12% had stage 1B, the majority had stage 2, and about 40% had stage 3A. It was also a mix of patients with squamous histology, which was about a third, and non-squamous histology. And for those with non-squamous histology, we mandated testing for EGFR and ALK. About 10% of patients had EGFR mutations, a low percentage, like 3% had ALK translocations. And when we then went to figure out, well, how did the tezolizumab help or not? The disease-free survival hazard ratio for the group of patients who were um, stage two to three A with pedo and expression was 0.66. So 34% reduction in risk of disease recurrence or death in that patient population, which is pretty significant. Um, and it did meet statistical significance. When we then looked at all comers with stage two to three A disease, the hazard ratio went to 0.79. And the explanation for that difference is that when we looked uh, into the forest plots, we pointed out that for patients who had stage two to three A disease without pd one expression, the disease-free survival hazard ratio was 0.97. So there was no benefit to giving a tezolizumab to patients who did not have pd one expression by the SP263 assay on their tumors. As mentioned, the hazard ratio was 0.66 for those with any pd one expression, and it was 0.43 for patients who had pd one of greater than 50% expression. We also did look at the patients with the ALK translocations is saw no benefit with the addition of atezolizumab and patients with EGFR um, mutations. And the patients with EGFR mutations in their tumors, there also did not seem to be a benefit in all comers. Um, but that's something we'll need to explore further as there was some hint in those with pd one expression and EGFR. When we step back as to the design of the study, we talked about pd one expressing stage two to three A no PD1 expression, stage two to three A, which still met statistical significance. The next step was to look at the all comers. So bringing in that 12% of patients who had stage one B. There, we have not yet had enough events to cross the significance boundary. The trend at this time looks to be pretty close to what we saw for the stage two to three A has reached around 0.81, but we don't know yet what that's going to end up with. And we don't have the final overall survival. It's very preliminary at this point because fortunately there see how that pans out over time. I will point out that the data that we presented had a median follow-up of over 32 months, um, keeping in mind that treatment stopped at 12 months. And so these patients have been at a pretty similar ratio. And so we're to, to wait and see. Um, there were some toxicities noted, um, but were unexpected when you think about giving a tezolizumab or any other checkpoint inhibitor for patients across diseases, for patients with um, advanced stage non-small cell lung cancer. We do know that almost any organ can be impacted and we need to be vigilant for that. Um, there were no surprises in what we saw for early stage um, non-small cell lung cancer in this trial. So the take home from Empower O and O is that the addition of adjuvant atezolizumab after surgical resection and after adjuvant chemotherapy does lead to a significantly improved disease-free survival in patients with pd one expressing stage 2 to 3A non-small cell lung cancer.